Okay, here we are. Welcome everyone to game number one of Digital Habitat up against Tet's Kitchen. I apologize again, I'm a little late coming into this draft, but uh, we'll pick it up right here in the middle. So starting off, we're on Digital, Habita Digital Habitat, sorry, they have uh, Phoenix and a Keeper of the Light Pick. Pretty good uh, ultimate combo with the Will-O-Wisp and Egg, so it's pretty neat. On the side on TK, they have the Doom and Crystal Maiden. Doom is I really like, and I'm glad he's coming back in the meta, especially with all these huge auras that are really big right now. So I'm happy to see Doom. As far as bands goes, we just have some pretty uh, simple kind of uh, meta bands: Marana, Tree and Protector, Puck, Ursa, and Disruptor on the side of Digital Habitat. And on the side of t Test Kitchen, they have band Pango, Kunkka, Lena, Undying, and Faceless Void. So I'm a little surprised with the Pango ban. They probably have a Pango spammer on Digital Habitat, if I had to guess. It's very rare that you see uh, Pango banned out. But uh, regardless, um, Faceless Void is uh, an interesting ban. I don't think it really fits in Digital Habitat's draft very well, especially with the Will-O-Wisp. It's kind of, uh, they kind of don't really synergize very well, but it is still a pretty popular hero right now, so it doesn't hurt. Hopefully TK is going to pick their position 4 here, or maybe another flex pick to not really give away what they're going to be playing. Uh, Digital Habitat has already shown both their support, so they could punish that, and when they pick their support now, or they could pick another core and counter the core picks on Digital Habitat. But we saw she. So what's a really good four right now? Um, Vengeful Spirit? That's a little bit surprising. I Very rarely see that hero put on four, but it could work out very well. They might be going for a uh, Luna. I know good guy loves playing Luna, and Vengeful Luna is always a classic. It's a classic combo. They're going to have so many auras, too, if they pick Luna. Um, so Digital Habitat, they are going to pick up Drow. A lot of weak range heroes on the side of Digital Habitat right now, so hopefully TK, with their last pick, picks some sort of jump. They don't really have a lot of stuns, so I mean Storm Spirit's going to be pretty strong, and messes up that Drow very well too, so we shall see. Also Drow versus Venge is always a little iffy too, because Drow can just get swapped right in the middle of the team. So it's interesting to see Drow picked up here. Especially with not a great frontliner. <clears throat> TK really biting into the reserve time to figure out these picks. Weaver, okay. So, yeah, there's the hero that's going to take advantage of the lack of stuns on the side digital habitat. So, that's pretty cool. Weaver is absurdly strong in my opinion even after they remove the XP talent he's still so strong he or it I'm not too sure I don't want to assume Weaver's gender but uh, it's still so strong especially with Venge I'm assuming that's probably gonna be their safe laner so even if you wanted to run a I mean Venge Weaver is a super strong lane with you can go uh, Blightstone on Weaver and you have so much armor reduction so I love the Weaver pickup and they don't really have a lot of lockdown on Digital Habitat either. Really lacking hard stuns. So hopefully their offlaner that they're going to pick here has some sort of um, strong disable. <coughs> Earthshaker, the king of disables. Unfortunately, super weak this patch. I think the Agnims change really put that hero on the ground. Don't really see it in pro tournaments anymore for that exact reason. I mean the hero is just a is just a it's a complete non factor. Like uh the Agnum's change is was horrendous and in all honesty that was the best part of the hero. But it is a lot of good lockdown. No and also too not the greatest frontliner. So we'll see how it works out. I'm not a huge fan. I don't want to trash these guys too much because what it really comes down to is how they play. You can completely get you can out get outdrafted completely, but 
if you uh, outplay them, it doesn't really matter too much. So Rubik ban for the side of TK. That's interesting. I wonder what they're going to do if they ban the Rubik. Maybe someone on the side of Digital Habitat plays a lot of mid Rubik. I'd be assuming that's a hero that they're wanting to play, or they're going to be wanting to pick their mid up next for Digital Habitat. But uh, who knows? I mean, it could be mid Shaker as well. I really don't know. TK needs a mid as well. So there's that. Magnus ban. Magnus is now be mainly played a mid now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see, that's what I've seen in pro tournaments is pretty much only mid lane. Digital Habitat with the second last pick. See what they decide to go with. Hopefully something a little spicy. I want to see some kind of flair in their draft. Um, we'll be good mid. Kanka's banned. Puck's banned. Um, I mean, OD isn't the greatest here, but if they want to go for something like a Dragon Knight, that's a good frontliner. Um, doesn't really get affected by Doom too, too much, as long as you get your Dragon Form off. Um, I guess the Inferno Blade's a little bit of an issue. Maybe not DK. Um, but they, I don't think they can really pick up like a Playmaker. I don't think you can pick a Storm or a Quap. Shadow Fiend is slowly coming back in the meta, but I think that's because of the fear from uh, the Rec Room. Being able to get the triple raise off after you, after you Yule's combo someone is huge, especially for tra tanky heroes in the late game. So that's definitely going to be a non-factor if you just get doomed right off the bat. So let's, I'm excited to see what did. They could have gone for the Magnus, but they banned it. But they're really sitting hard on this one. I hope they pick just a tanky mid. Something to give them a little bit more beef. So there's the beef. Tiny. That could also be a safe lane tiny mid drow as well. Um, I think drow does... We'll see what TK decides to pick up, but they do have some nice flexibility in digital habitat. Um, yeah, you definitely... You don't want your phoenix to be the front line. And Earthshaker as well is going to be wanting to be like the counter initiation, I think counter initiation I think um, you don't really want to you could open with echo if you have a good one but you normally want to like egg then follow up with echo slam so but on the side of digital habitat right now they have huge amount of team fight so I really like that um, the tiny is going to fit in their draft really well they have two very squishy supports and weaver too which is very squishy um, I think Weaver at level when Tiny gets level 12, I think uh, he will one shot the Weaver with the combo. So it's going to be a little bit scary. There's that sniper. I really like that. We'll see how it goes though. I mean, like like I was saying earlier, it could really come down to a complete outplay. But I really like the sniper here. Um. That being said, if any one of their heroes gets initiated on, whether it's uh, Weaver or Sniper, I think 90% of the damage, or like, sorry, I guess 50% of the damage is going to be gone. TK is going to be really relying on these two cores to do a huge amount of damage. Like, Doom doesn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately. Um, <coughs> pardon me. That being said, neither does Earthshaker as a 3. So, it'll be interesting definitely be interesting to see how these games go but best of luck to both teams here uh, I think it really could go either way at this point there's not a lot of good doom targets on the side of digital habitat probably just going to be wanting to if uh, echo slam doesn't go off you're probably going to be wanting to doom the earth shaker if I had to guess just so we can't cast spells constantly um, but they have a lot of good ways to get rid of the keeper of the light Ultimate and the same thing with Egg as well. Sniper and Weaver are awesome versus those. I do think you get a double shot onto Egg with Weaver. I could be wrong though. I'm not too sure if it's like a ward where you just get the single or if you get the Gemini attack behind it. But we shall see. 
But either way, let's get into the draft here. We'll turn on free camera, get rid of this guy, and put on last hits in the nice. Anyway, we're right starting over here on Dyer. Happy New Year called out from uh, Arno. But uh, anyway, so on the side of Test Kitchen, we have Antivirus on the Weaver playing position one, and Good Guy playing on the position five CM. Mid lane is Doc on the Sniper. Talus on the uh, Ventral Spirit and Yorange Bone Apple T on the Doom. This is going to be a kind of a fun lane. I think I would rather Weaver, or sorry, not. <laughs> I'd rather the uh, Venge be up top with the Weaver, but regardless, this uh, this lane is going to be really strong. On the side of Digital Habitat, they have Arno on that five uh, position five uh, Keeper of the Light. Snow playing position one drow. Jukester on mid tiny. Gampro on what I would assume. Hmm. Maybe I can't assume. But uh probably position th three or shaker, if I had to guess. And a position four Phoenix. That's a master tier Phoenix too, I gotta add, so that's pretty neat. Good luck, have fun has been called out from Doc, and the runes being split a comfortable 2-2. Two, two. But uh, let's see how this lane goes. Oh, going to get a courier sniper off the bat. And Talus, nice. And they might get first blood here too. Infernal Blade coming up in three seconds, but like, right at the back. Didn't want to miss that wave, first wave. So Yorange got level one Infernal Blade, which is okay. The, the, you can only really eat the medium or the uh, small creeps to level one, so I believe oop, good stun coming up from Talus and keep the lights out of mana and no regen too, so it's gotta go back to base already. This draw's gonna be in some trouble. Top lane I think it's gonna be in the favor of Radiant, I think. I don't think Weaver does very well against the Phoenix. Phoenix holding his skill point too, so I'd assume probably going to take Fire Spirits or waiting till I guess level 2 to take Fire Spirits and dive at the same time. Also, I'm kind of pissed because my freaking taskbar is right in the way of the minimap. So, this is going to be eventful. Can't click on the bottom lane. Mid. Right now, Tiny's on top. 4-3. Uh, to three. Sniper with that 3-2. to two. But I think Tiny always is going to finish on top, especially with that permanent tree grab. Bottom lane, Snow is doing very well on the Draw Ranger. Not really getting contested at all right now. It's six and two, seven and two to Dooms four to one. But yeah, Dooms not going to do very well against the uh, Drow, that's for sure. Do do do. Mid lane. Oh, we tossed the tree. Twenty seconds, so that's up. Sniper though is got one deny on the tiny. Good guy. Uh oh. Ashes is in a little bit of trouble. He's getting low. He's still got dive up, but antivirus could chase here. Oh, nice first blood from antivirus. Well played. This guy, if I had to guess, probably plays a lot of Weaver. But really well played from Dyer. Bottom lane. Oh, Snow is in a little bit of trouble. Two kills for the side of uh, TK right off the bat. And uh, that's, that's awesome. The two, double stun for uh, the side of TK is going to be huge in this lane. If they catch Drow out of position. Drow is going to come back for this nice big double range creep wave, though. So not really losing too, too much. Nice blinding light, and Arno makes it out of there alive. Good job, Talus, just really zoning this guy out. Top lane. Oh, wow, I just caught the end of that, but that was tight. That was so close. Well played, and 
very good game sense from good guy there. Good job. Top lane starting to go further and further into the ground. This Weaver's got his Blightstone and a Wraith Band right off the bat, so it's going to be very big. They're going to rush, uh, they're going to be rushing Power Treads. Nice pull from Good Guy. Gampro is going to be contesting. Same thing on bot lane too, by the looks of it. Contest from Talus, not letting that pull get through. There's nothing much Gamp Gampro can do here, really, except for try and contest the wave. Phoenix is coming over. No spirits. But he's missing out on a full wave, so that's definitely a little bit unfortunate. Mid lane, got a DD on Sniper, and now Sniper is a full level ahead of the Tiny. Probably just because those 10 to 9s. Really well played from Doc. Bottom, Yorange has to go back to base. Again, I can't really see the bottom lane very well, so I can't see if there's action going on. Oh, and Doc, wow, getting a solo kill on that Tiny. Can't believe I missed that. Probably just triple shrapnel them with that DD, but well played, Doc. If I could tip you, I would. Five minute runes are coming up. The ping from uh, Talus, it looked like. Oh, really well played from Arno. Getting that pushback. Three going inside Digital Habitat. And his anti. What the heck's going on? His antivirus going to chase? Looks like he will. Oh! Oh, big bug kill from antivirus. So only one rune going inside of TK, though. Uh-oh. Talus in a little bit of trouble. He's going to get blasted back. And I think this is a dead Venge. Fairy Fire comes out, but that's about it. There's now three down bottom. Gampro rotates, but doesn't even cost Fisher to get an assist. But, uh... Radiant dominating these top the uh, top four spots. Okay, there we go. Talus finally, or not Talus, uh, Antivirus finally getting some last hits. He's a little behind, but Phoenix is very hard to deal with as a Weaver, that's for sure. I oh, look at that. Poor attack speed. Good zone though, especially without Urshaker in this lane. <laughs> Jukester really got behind now because of that kill from Sniper. Sniper, where is that guy at? Oh, another kill on top lane. Well played. But uh, regardless, Sniper got the phase boots now and the double raise ban. Ooh, Tiny still hits really hard, but he can't even go up to last hit. Bot lane. Venge done. But he's okay. Bone Apple T not getting there in time. It's a little slow on that Doom, but... <laughs> Mid's being pressured pretty hard here. And if one more shrapnel charge, and I think Juicer will die again. Bottom. Oh, no. Great blinding light. These blinding lights have been on point from Arno. Snow just farming away. 28 last hits, 14 denies. That's huge on the safe lane. This guy really knows how to play. I'm pretty sure, isn't Snow like a divine? No, I guess he's only ancient. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of a different Snow. Oh, top lane. Good guy. Gets the kill on Earthshaker. Oh, this Weaver is going to be a big problem. Going to Fusal Blade second item. And Antivirus. Oh my god, he's on out of control. Probably should get some mangoes shipped up to him, but bottom lane, Arno. Arno goes down. Finally, this Doom Venge combo getting a kill. Good TP from Talus, but oh, well played, Snow. This Drow is getting pretty scary, too. Triple Wraith Band, Treads now, going for the Dragon Lance level first item, and Antivirus is going that Diffusal. Good guy, rocking three points in Arcane Aura. Much respect. Sniper level eight to Tiny's level seven. And at this point, Sniper's just shrapneling waves to get the last hits. 
going Midas. I wish I could see how much gold he had, but I can't. So, don't worry about it. Oh, nice courier control. Good guy. Playing with fire here, but Ashes isn't even level 6 yet, so he can't do too much against good guy. But Gambo. I don't know where his courier died. Oh, it might have been walking across the mid lane and it got sniped. Well, my doc knows he's there. <laughs> Rocking the broom handle. Oh, bot top lane. Man, Jesus, I'm terrible at my job. Well played antivirus. I'm sorry I missed that again. Oh, middle. Line of light away. The sniper is getting big, boys. Whew. He's got to be close to his minus. I wish I could see. It's so close. I don't want to try and fix it, but not right now. It's okay. <laughs> Switch over to network, see how we're doing. Ooh, wow. This Doom significantly higher than the Phoenix. That's a little bit of a problem. Most cores are pretty close, about 400, 500 difference, but Doom is almost a thousand ahead of the Phoenix. That's a little bit worrisome. Um, I don't think you can ever really be behind on a Phoenix. But I'm sure he can bring it back. He's a master tier Phoenix. He's got to be pretty good. Arno. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice time lapse. He can go for this kill. Good kill, Antivirus. And here comes good guy, too. They can get another one. Probably going to kill this Urshiger here. Oh, my God. Nice freezing field coming out. Gampro goes down, and Snow It's going to be next. Well played. Holy crap. Double kill for Antivirus, and a kill for good guy as well. Jeez, these guys are playing really well. And now good guy has passed bottom lane, too. Phoenix goes down. I can't see for some reason, but Phoenix dies somewhere down here. Got doomed by the looks of it. Test Kitchen really starting to snowball here. Hopefully they t start taking some tier ones. They got good push. But good guy, yeah, passing the Phoenix now. The that's a position three Phoenix getting outplayed by the f not maybe not outplayed but outfarmed by a position five. That's not good. Bomb lane. They're setting up for this this kill on Urshaker or Urshaker setting up for a kill on Doom. But he's going to be fine. He might even go for the kill on Arno. That's level 4 Scorched Earth. He's just going to run him down. Ah, he's dead. Nice stun on the Earthshaker. They're just going to walk away from Phoenix Egg. Oh, Talos might be the return kill here. Turns and fights. Ah, he's got nothing. Unfortunate. And they're going to be... Earthshaker's going for the chase, but... Doom, probably going to try and suicide here. Might be able to get a kill. Oh, never mind. Here comes a tiny. Run. Oh, he runs back into the avalanche. <laughs> He's not making it out of that one. Well played from both teams. Oh, the assassinate. No. No. Doc kills. Doc kills Gampro. Well played. Nothing he can do. 15 to 4. 6k now for a lead. But the game's not over yet. There's still hope for the side digital habitat. Mid lane, nice avalanche, the toss back, oh, toss up onto the sniper, and doesn't get it, oh, gets a shrapnel return kill, but he's in the grave, so no XP, and good guy just walks away the route just for the good measure. But this guy's probably just going to step into the jungle. Top lane, or bottom lane, sorry, Talus goes down on the Earthshaker Venge. Again, can't see the bottom lane, so I'm sorry. And I'm sorry again, I'm going to respond to a message real quick. Okay, there we go. And capturing the bottom. Ooh, the big sword falls. Arno's courier dies. Yorange in a little bit of trouble though. TP's coming from the Weaver and the Doom on the Phoenix, so he's pretty much useless. Down goes Phoenix, and Gampro looks like he's next. Arno getting just slaughtered by the damage from Antivirus's defusal, and that's three kills for the side of Dire. And a tier one tower, too. Well played.
Snow, Snow's just hiding in here. He's a little scared because as soon as they get this, they're going to capture the outpost pinged out from antivirus, but they're going to see him. Snow, run, man. Measure time. Go, go, go. There he goes. Pings out from Doom. So I know he's there. Sniper is coming over. Oh, poor man shield. Priorities. They know Snow's down here. He's going to see him with the vision. The orange is on the warpath now. Here comes Doc. This is a dead Snow. Tries to kill the courier, but Infernal Blade comes out. Kill top lane too for antivirus. Or kill mid, it looks like. Uh-oh. There's that tiny damage. He's almost level 12. Oh, no. It's chasing him. Run. Oh, <laughs> no. Campero gets that godlike streak. That's an oof. Almost getting 1k gold. That's an oof for sure. <laughs> but nice echo. As I was saying earlier in the draft stage, once tiny hits that level 12. Oh, he's not even maxing toss. Hmm. Big think. Maybe not. But when tiny gets a lot of toss points, he can pretty much just solo kill that weaver. Weaver only has 1,200 HP. Mid lane, Gampro's in a little bit of trouble. Jukester, oh, nice toss away. Well played. Ooh, so close on the Talus kill. But Yorn is on a warpath here. This man is not scared of anything. Doc's kind of farming pretty ballsy here, but he's not really too scared. He's got great vision on the high ground from this ward. And they pretty much own Dire side or Radiant side of the map at this point. With a great ward over here, seeing everything that Drow's doing. And this ward here too, that's a little bit unconventional, but I think it's really good for taking this tier 1 tower and early control in the jungle too. Oop, D ward from... Good D ward from Arno. Is it in range? <gasps> no! It's just out of range. Oh, no it's not. My bad. My bad. That would have been kind of funny. Shrapnel from Sniper. And the cheese fortifying. <laughs> Top lane tower is almost dead. Antivirus can probably take this no problem. And she's going to go on Manta, too. We don't see that too often on Weaver. But if I had to guess, it's probably going to be for the Drow. The Dispel on the Silence. And he also got a Nether Shawl, too. Probably in his backpack, but again, I cannot see. It's not a good start to my cast. Well, that's okay. Hello. Uh, 21 to 7 for the side of TK and they're about 10k ahead now so they're really far ahead especially only at 16 minutes so they have a Midas on Sniper they have a Doom that's just going to keep farming like crazy and a lot of good aura items too on the Doom so I think uh, Digital Habitat's in a lot of trouble this Drow is very low and you hate to see it too I really like Drow it's kind of unfortunate but top lane. Good guy's going to get that through a smoke. Good capture. That's actually kind of a neat thing I didn't realize. So, smoke doesn't break when you're capturing an outpost, but Phantom Assassin Blur does. Now you know. Interesting fact of the day. I thought, oh, a little bit of lag here. Rut roll. All right, there we go. We're back in it. A little bit of a delay there, but everything's good. Oh, geez, big echo slam onto antivirus. He's in a little bit of trouble, but he got off the time lapse. Oh no, not enough lockdown. He's gonna get slept again, but they can't even keep up to him. Man's too fast. So close from the side of the Gampro player, but well, antivirus coming out on top. Weaver is so strong. I love Weaver as a side note. If I haven't said it enough, I think it's a god tier hero. And Yorange and Doc just taking this tower. No fear whatsoever. Sniper TP's up top to defend this tower. 
four heroes on the side of Digital Habitat are here, so they need to do something, anything. Blink Dagger on the Airshaker, so they can, might be able to get at least one or two kills. Oh, blink away. Good guy. Zoning him out. Zoning out two heroes here. And Gampro looks like he's going to go down. Good blinding light. And the other heroes aren't even coming over yet. And the Assassinate coming out on Gampro. Gampro goes down. We'll switch over here where Phoenix has Supernova, but Supernova goes down. Tiny blinks in. Gets swapped back, but he's going to go down too. Another blinding light, but he's dead. He's gone. And so is the Keeper of the Light. He dies to Antivirus in seconds. That is a four-man wave. Good guys on a killing spree. And holy crap, this is starting to look really bad for Digital Habitat. But you never know. There could be hope. We can't assume anything until they call GG or that Ancient Falls. So if they stay in this and fight, who knows what's going to happen. This Tier 1 is going to go down. Antivirus TP's bottom. And it's just going to push out that wave. Probably wanting to take the next objective to be this bottom jungle. They can ward it up. Get this tower that's already at 400 HP. Oh, pause comes out. Yikes, this call from Bone Apple T. And, alright. I'm just going to switch out and check something real quick. Make sure this game's still going. Yeah, it's still going on. Um, again, I really want to get rid of this freaking taskbar, but I don't know how. Uh, I also don't want to fuck anything up. It's okay. I'll worry about it later. Minor issue. Antivirus. He's got the Yasha. And I wish I could see... <laughs> how much gold he has, but uh, he's level 15, this man is huge, snipers at the top of the net worth, almost doubling that of snows, yeah, jeez, it almost exactly doubling, so it's a little scary, and let's see, who got the runes there, was the main tenant, three for TK so far, and there's still one, I guess, right here, yeah, that's four bounty runes for TK, a 17k net worth lead at 20 minutes. That's a little frightening. But Radiant side, Digital Habitat are set up for this defense. They got a lot of great wards and they're defending their jungle area. One on the cliff, one in the entryway, and one up here too, the other entry to their triangle. So they're really trying to protect that top area so Snow can farm. And they're kind of grouped up as five or uh, four as well. Sorry, I'm assuming snipers are not sniper. Tiny's down here farming. Yep. But uh, they have another good ward here, watching the, the another very popular entry right here, and it's all dewarded too. TK does not have a single ward in the dire or radiant jungle yet. So hopefully, hopefully they group up. Maybe get a smoke. Does good guy have one? Shit. <laughs> Can't see his backpack. Let's see. God damn it. Can't see his freaking backpack. Hopefully these guys smoke. TP bottom from Venge. He's got zero reason to be down here, I think. Maybe they were just dodging this fight. Who knows, but Venge showed on the map, so they know Venge is missing. And they saw him TP too, so... This is a great smoke. Very heads up smoke. Let's see who they find here. Phoenix. They see the doom, but instant blink. Nice. Well played. And the, that's a Phoenix trying to initiate, too. They're just going to walk away. That's a failed smoke gank. Oh, no. Digital Habitat not getting anything. They do find the doom, but now he's in trouble. Gets Infernal Bladed, and the Venge is right there, too, to back him up. Dies the antivirus, or Kotal dies the antivirus. The assassinate's coming out on Ashes, and oh, pff, double kill for Yorange. It looks like they're going to get another one, too. Oh, no. Good blinding light from the buyback on Kotal. Oh, boy. Nothing going the way of Digital Habitat. You hate to see it. I had a lot of hope for these guys, but the boys over on Test Kitchen are just stomping them.
Good guys, I go in BKB again. Don't see how close he is to <laughs> it, but jeez, this guy is farmed. He's got 6k in net worth past the drow. Oh god, you hate to see it. That's two tier two towers, and I don't think they should be scared about going high ground at all. They're 24k net worth ahead. And they got no kind of no deep push whatsoever except for Drow multi shot. But if Drow steps out of position, swap and doom. It's only level one swap though. I can't see what level the Venge is. I, you know what? I can. Venge. Level ten. Okay. But they scan oh. Antivirus might be in a little bit of trouble getting hit by so many spells here. So they finally kill Antivirus, but they get a good kill on Gampro. And that's that. But they had to use so many ultimates. They used almost every ultimate on the side of Radiant to kill one hero. Oh, whew. How much gold did he give? He gave... Oh, what? Barely anything. What the hell? Oh my god. Barely anything. Oh man, so that's whew, that's not even, that's worth it. That's like hundred second cooldowns on everything. Oh, whew, not good. And everyone's just chilling, just farming. AC queued up on Yorange. Um, let's see, Sniper, how is he doing? Majonglinger queued up on Sniper. And uh, Weaver is going BKB too, so another defensive item. Weaver TPing to that top lane to help out this Doom, but I don't even think Doom needs it. This man just running down this Phoenix who got the ultimate spell. That, that doesn't make any sense. That's a bad line. The ultimate lockdown. And the ultimate disable. I don't, I don't know. Doom is god tier. I think Doom, is, it's in kind of a weird place, as a side note. I'm going to try to make myself seem smarter after that last comment, but, like, Doom, basically the only thing good about him for a while was the fact that, like, all what really was good was Doom. But now, with the changes to how strong auras are, like, Devour is awesome, and so many good items you can go on Doom as well. He's just an aura boss at this point, so I really like that Doom's coming back. So you can farm like crazy. Like, look where he's on the net worth. He's past uh, antivirus. Like, the hero can farm like crazy. He's a great initiator, great aura carrier. So you can do so much with him. And Doom is a god tier spell, too. So, basically forces everyone on the side of Radiant to go an item they don't want. And they don't have a good Lincoln Sphere carriers. <coughs> Pardon me. But, that being said... They know Roche is going on, and they're bringing over everyone to contest. All their ultimates are up on the side digital habitat, so hopefully, hopefully they can defend this. But we shall see. Oh my god, Doc getting a kill on Arno. I don't even know where he died. It happened so fast. Arno is so behind, and they have to back because that's a huge ultimate down for 45 seconds. Whew. And... Radiant not being able to fight and Roshan dying to the side of TK and uh, wow just wow four staff on Venge and BKB on good guy coming out Whew. these guys are farmed good sentry placement make sure there's no sentries on the side of Radiant and Vanja is getting in position to do some sexy swaps. I think they're going to have to let this one go, sadly. And just defend high ground. Nuke the wave with Drow multi shot and pray. Level 20. Whoa. Level 20 dock with a Majonglinger and Orb of Destruction. This man is a f scary thing. <laughs> Fireworks being shot. Whew. This is a fun game to watch. Just wish I was a better caster, Kappa. The repair kit coming out doing work, but there's no creep wave for the multi shot to hit, so it's just kind of healing the tower. 
through the uh, oh initiation coming out ooh big ultimate huge echo slam oh my god that's freaking weaver down and sniper dead too but it's not weaver's coming back but that's just aegis and he's got to run away holy crap well played from urshager catching that initiation there oh my goodness huge wipe contented swak coming out from ashes wow well played from digital habitat that all happened so fast i couldn't even react in time holy shiitake mushrooms well played, Yampro. Well played. Really well played, too, from Keeper of the Light. Getting that huge, huge uh, sleep off. Oh, scared. He, Antivirus got a little scared there, as he should have been. Antivirus is a big, big man. He's got almost 3k HP and, oh my god, 28 armor. That boy is huge. Uh, pardon me again. I apologize. Um, sniper. After getting completely blown up as a ca glass cannon, I wonder if he's going to reconsider and maybe go something like a Scotty or Satanic. Something to keep him alive because he got jumped and did not last long. Uh, Ashes, I believe, has a Kaya coming out. Yep, so... He's gonna be pumping a lot out, pumping out a lot of magic damage in the next few fights. So I'm really glad this Phoenix is starting to come online. Um, uh, Gampro has the point booster for his Aghanim Scepter, and has a Lotus Orb queued up. Arno has a Ghost Scepter, probably gonna be going uh, the Glimmer Cape afterwards. And Snow is just down here farming with Butterfly queued up as his next item. Um, that being said, uh, Doc does have MKB queued up, so that's unfortunately not going to do as much as he's hoping. Might switch to a E-Blade, though. Oh, never a bad idea on a Drow. E-Blade instead of uh, Butterfly. Good defensive item, and great too, because you don't really get countered by Monkey King Bar as hard as you would if you had a Butterfly. That being said... Um, TK is starting to take over Radiance Jungle. Um, got a lot of good wards up in the top area. This is a very sneaky ward. Where is it? Right here. Right out of the range of Sentry. If one gets placed on the high ground, it's right out of range. And it's pretty unexpected. But mid lane, ooh, the orange barely gets out alive. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, wow, drought. Hitting really hard. Oh, I think they gotta be start be getting a little start getting a little scared on the side of Dire. These heroes on Digital Habitat are really coming online, and they're so confident they're gonna smoke. They leave poor Tiny behind, but they have no good vision onto the Radiant team, or Radiant doesn't have good vision on TK. So this is gonna be a little interesting. Smoke's gonna break. Dust comes out from Arno, but I think they're just gonna leave this Venge to die. Good guy runs away. Oh, a little bit of lag. Again. But it looks like they're all just scrambling to get back. Sniper's top. Doom has Blink Dagger and TP up. And uh, there goes Venge. Tanks the gank. Venge is the lowest hero. Net worth lies on the side of Dire. So it's not that big of a loss. But 250 gold going the way of Tiny. And he's going to Sanjin Yasha as his next item. Um, yeah, that that's an item. Um, I th think one of the main reasons you go SOI on Tiny now is because it synergizes so well with uh, Mask of Madness. So hopefully they realize that and maybe pick up a Vlad's or something on Earthshaker. Um, but, I mean, regardless, the attack speed given from the Yasha and the move speed, too, is really nice for Tiny. He's probably going to swap out the Broom Handle. Or he might swap out Dragon Skill just because he already has so much armor. So we'll see. Tiny is getting pretty big, though. Late game Tiny is super scary. But unfortunately, doesn't do the greatest versus Sniper. But if they keep catching Sniper out, like they did on that high ground push, they're going to be 
starting to make some great comebacks. They group up again, get another five-man smoke going. Well, I guess a five-man smoke going. Last time it was only four, but no flame. I think it was in vision of that ward, but I'm not too sure because they're not backing. So they're going to see good guy. Oh, oh, nice escape coming out from Doc, but they caught him. Good silence comes out, and the slow. Eggs popped. Good swap save from Talus, but he just goes down. Weaver kills the eggs, so that's Phoenix down. But Antivirus is in a lot of trouble. Doc's doing work. Or not Doc. Uh, friggin' Snow's doing a lot of work with Drow now. So huge damage coming out from Radiant. and Man, there's still a little bit of pause. Not a, <laughs> not a little bit of pause. They paused. And... DK is still really far ahead in net worth, but it hasn't changed. It's been fairly even. Okay, maybe now I can fix my taskbar. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, bathroom break, bathroom break. Alright, no flame. taskbar. I don't know how. I think I do windowed view, right? Let's do exclu exclusive for full screen. There we go. I like it. Awesome. Finally, it's gone. What's the matter? What are they complaining about? Oh, everyone's kind of oh, complaining about the lag by the looks of it. I don't think it's a league's fault. It's probably the, uh, the server. If anything, NA server is probably being a little weird. <laughs> All right, awesome. Now I can see how much gold each person has. I guess there is a graph for it, right? Yep, current gold. I like net worth, though. Let's keep that going. But anyway, so. Four. Yeah. That was a uh, two for one. Oh, good initiation from Yorge, but the bugs come out from snow and snow's out big echo slam coming out from Gampro. venge goes down but i think snow's gonna die too here but yorange is in a little bit of trouble can he skate away he might be able to live through all the damage and i think antivirus is just gonna clean up here lots of evasion uh oh no antivirus is gonna go down very well played from the side of raid and oh no yorange dies too bon appetit jukester He's just enjoying that snack. Oh, no. You hate to see it. Now they just lost 3k net worth. And, man, these guys are starting to look like they're in trouble. They're not building any stat items. They're just building damage items. So they're just glass cannons. They have no one to tank except for this Doom. And, well, it's only Doom. He's nowhere near the tiny Earthshaker. Doc being able to defend very well with Shrapnel. Urshaker does have... Oh, Urshaker just got his axe. That's awesome. That's going to be pretty big. It's so good versus Sniper Shrapnel. Like, that's one of the reasons why Sh Sniper is so good versus Tiny, because you can't blink because of Shrapnel. But now with Agnum Scepter on Ganpro... He's going to be able to survive that shrapnel and get on top of him. So this game is going to be a long game. Unless one team throws. So who knows. <laughs> and this is just Venge farming illusions. Or farming ancients. You hate to see it. Anyway, let's see it. Snow. He's got that butterfly now. And has 15k gold in the bank. Probably going to finish Manta 
if I had to guess, he might also go another agility item. I mentioned the E-Blade, but uh, you never know. I would probably assume either Manta or BKB, something to survive. Um, Ashes is about 300 gold, or not 300 gold, sorry, 150 gold to be exact, away from Shiva's Guard, which is going to be big, especially versus the Sniper, because he does not... Or, uh, because he does not have a lot of, uh, armor reduction. Oh, good blink from anti- or <coughs> time loss from antivirus that did cost him a BKB charge. Probably was a little bit of a panic BKB, but he's got MKB queued up, and Yorange is smoked up with the two supports. They're gonna catch Jukester, but this is bad. Good freezing field from good guy in the trees with that BKB. Snow's just standing right in it. He's in a little bit of trouble. Doom coming out from, uh, what's going on here? I'm lagging. Okay, we're good. We're back in it. Doom goes down. Triple kill for Doc. And good guy gets out alive even after that humongous blink. But Urshaker buys back, and I don't think it's worth it. That was big. Let's see. The recap. Pretty close on the gold change, but XP-wise, um... Radiant came out on top by almost double, so that was big. Big fight from both teams. I think Snow dying was probably the biggest thing. No cores, or no important cores, I should say, really went down on um, TK. Unfortunately, Doom is the only core that was lost. But it, I think it's to be expected at this point. Being a tank against a Drow Tiny, it's a tough life, my friend. I feel you. It's an offlane player. I feel you. Weaver is nearing that MKB. He's about a thousand gold away. But man, both these guys, they're just glass cannons. They do so much damage, but if they get jumped, they're in trouble. So it's definitely good getting that Urshaker down fast because he is going to present a huge issue if they get initiated on. That was an awesome play by a good guy there, blinking in the Roche pit getting an awesome freezing fill off and almost taking down all of Snow's HP. Snow dying to Snow, frankly. It just sucked. I kind of lagged in the middle of that fight. I couldn't really see what was going on. Um, Talos choosing to go the uh, pipe. Not an item we see every day on Avenge, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, let's see what we let's see what other items are going here. Doc still got that MKB queued up. He finished BKB now, so that's a 10 second BKB on Doc. Antivirus um, is again nearing that MKB. The orange has a pipe queued up too, so hopefully they don't go double pipe. But big smoke coming out from Radiant again. Doom draws on the map where they are. The scan, I think, caught the edge of them. So, they're just going to back. Good guy's going to break it. Big dust. Oh, wow. Huge blame from good guy. Really heads up play. And uh, they're just going to split to the top lane. Both these guys just getting out of there. Well played. And But at least they're going to get, hopefully, two towers. They can probably just take both of them, but the ping's out on the tier 3 in the top lane, so Antivirus is just going to push. He's got no TP, so he's got to be careful. They should send the orange to do it. But it is only 30 seconds, so they might have time. Man, you guys farmed. Look where this guy is. Jeez, this man's an animal. An animal. Doc's playing pretty ballsy because he can see all heroes on the side of Radiant. They could go for the Roshan too, a classic. They're all bottom, so they could probably sneak it if they wanted, but I think they're just going to let it go. For now, anyway, till they win a fight. Yorange is being pinged. Four Staff, Blink, Avalanche. Yorange has to be KB, and uh, run, bro. What are you doing? TP is coming out from everyone. Doom onto the Phoenix. So Phoenix goes down already. And 
Yorange goes down too, but double kill for Doc. He takes out the Kotal, and I think Jukestar is in a little bit of trouble here. Freezing Field on the Earthshaker in the back line. The Assassinate is clicked on to Tiny, but Tiny's going to live. But now this Earthshaker is in trouble. Antivirus is coming in to clean up the back line, though. There we go. He spotted him. He's leading them right back to the team, but they're all so low. Oh, good guy, casting Freezing Field on himself, but it's okay because they're all going to die, swap into Root. Good guy's going to right-click him to death, and there down goes uh, Jukester. That's a six-kill streak that got ended by right-clicks. <laughs> good guy. This man's a beast. Oh, go on that 250 attack speed. He's going to have E-Blade any second. Whew, this game is entertaining. So that's a three-for-one trade, and you hate to see it, man. Again, I feel you as a doom. It sucks, man. It sucks being the only melee against a drow tiny. <laughs> but he's doing work, though. His doom has led to so many one-team fights with dooming Phoenix or Tiny or Earthshaker. Ah, really well played, doom. Don't worry. I respect you. And I think this is going to be uh, Tier 3. Doc just chilling in the back lines, hitting that tower. And Earthshaker does have the repair kit. I'm going to repair it this wave. But they see him. So they might have called the back. Yep, Glimmer. And just back. Not going to knock in there. Probably have PTSD flashbacks of the, <laughs> of the last fight. Ooh, Minotaur Horn. Where is he? Minotaur Horn getting picked up for Doom and a Flicker as well. Toss that shit on the Venge. That's awesome. But Minotaur Horn, an awesome item on Doom. He's got 3k HP now, so this guy is scary. He's 27 armor, 3k HP. He's big. Going Shiva's too. He's a little ways away, but... Oh, they gave the Flicker to Antivirus. That's interesting. Interesting. Maybe just to get rid of that silence, I guess? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it's not that bad that bad of an item on a Weaver. <laughs> you can just time-lapse anyway, so probably just to secure the time-lapse getting off. Um, good guy actually just bought a whole Aghanim Scepter instead of the uh, uh, E-Blade. Um, and also, too, up top, Antivirus picked up the princess knife and give it to sniper by the looks of it which again is another awesome item they just got all their tier 4 items on the side of TK um, drow got one got the le the leveler which is an awesome item on drow ranger it swaps it out for the van brace um, but yeah that's awesome maybe give your van brace to maybe tiny no I don't doesn't have a slot uh, yeah Personally, not a good Van Brace carrier now. But, still though, Drow, hitting hard. Choosing to go Blink Dagger, actually, of all items. So that's pretty neat. It's got 2k gold in the bank. And they might be wanting to smoke again. They're all grouping up in this triangle. Gampro is nearing Lotus. But still going to be a little while. He got the Timeless Relic, though, so this is going to be pretty cool. 25% increase on his stun duration. So that's going to be a little frightening. Shiva's Guard into the dive onto... They're just going to get this kill, though. They killed it. Oh, my God. No, no. Urshaker's going to die, too. He blinks right into a BKB Sniper. Jukester's in a little bit of trouble as well. They kill the Will-O-Wisp, and he gets doomed on the side of Jukester. This is a disaster. Double kill for Doc. And now Snow's in trouble. Double kill for a good guy. And the Assassinate onto Arno. That's a triple kill for Doc. And a full team wipe. Whew. TK really showing them who's boss. Three buybacks on the side of Radiant. Drow, Phoenix, and Keeper of the Light. Um, let's see buyback status. Oh, there's the one from Earthshaker. Tiny holding his at the moment, but they can force it. They can win another fight. There's only Echo Slam is up. Is the only ultimate that's up. And Sniper is so far out of range here. Oh, big swap. Oh, no. Echo Slam comes out, but he can't do anything. Godlike Streak for Doc. And they're going to get out scot-free. Snow dies in the background, too. Two diebacks. I don't know how Snow got in the middle there. I think he blinked in and just died. 
tiny bot back too through all that, but he's not going to be able to do too much. Antivirus going to split bottom with the orange. This is going to be at least two racks here. Maybe even three, because Sniper pushes so fast. Good guy, too. With the... Oh my god, this man's an animal. Look at him. He's no fear whatsoever. He's just asking them to attack him. But two lanes of racks going down so fast from TK. These guys are animals. Oh, and the game's done by the looks of it. I'm going to accept that and message good guy real quick. But, uh, yeah, geez, I think this is it, in all honesty. Oh, probably going to take a break. I'll go back to the game. I won't message them right now. But, wow. Really good comeback. 47 minute, forty-seven k net worth ahead at 46 minutes. And the initiation, that's, oh my good guy, big freezing field in the middle. Keep it like it's rooted and... Tiny goes down two to Yorange, and good guy with that big double kill. GG has been called. Holy crap, that was a great ending to that game. Not a lot of action in that kind of 30, 40 minute mark, but whew, 51k net worth by the end of that. GG well played from Test Kitchen. You guys played awesome. So did you, Digital Habitat. You guys put up a really good fight. Well played, both teams.